So if you go down here to John 16, 16, 16 a little uh, background on this is helpful here. Our Savior is in um, a place to where he is going to the cross after he's delivering these uh, last comments to his disciples here. And he's going to the cross as king and priest. Remember, since his kingdom is not of this world, he is moving as the suffering servant. So our king is giving himself for the world. Mm -hmm. Normally, a king of a temporal uh, uh, nation lords over their subjects. But since Jesus' kingdom is spiritual, he is demonstrating servanthood by suffering for us. And that's one part of it. The other part of it is he has to serve as the Lamb of God, and so he is involved in priestly activity. His goal is to present blood, atonement blood, for the sins of the world because the wages of sin is death. Somebody has to die now you gotta pay the price. and pay this price for sin. Mm -hmm. And the blood of bulls and goats was not enough. Jesus' blood, according to Scripture, is incorruptible blood. And he, of course, is the mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus. There's only one mediator. So therefore, the blood he is presenting is his own incorruptible blood as God's priest. So his king aspect cannot be separated from his priest aspect at all. Can't be separated from it. And so therefore... He's giving his uh, instructions before he leaves to accomplish the sacrifice account to his disciples. Yep. So we set this up. Start reading verse 16. 16, 16. Before I get started. As Harvey mentioned, this is Jesus preparing to go to the cross. Yeah. He is giving final instructions to those who are going to have to do their part in the ministry he's leaving them. Yeah. Okay? <clears throat> it's like, you know, you have kids who, who live at home, okay? And maybe they're, you know, upper teenagers. There are things you tell your kids before you leave the house. Okay? This is what's going to be going on while I'm gone. I want you to make sure you do X, Y, and Z. I want you to make sure you pick up your brother from school. I want you to make sure. Final instructions before leaving. Okay? Jesus is giving his people, the ones he chose, final instructions what to do, where to be, how to act, all that stuff, because he's leaving. He's going to the cross. He's going to the cross. Okay? So, think about that while we read this. A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again a little while, and you will see me. Stop. What is he saying? He's saying two things. I'm going. You won't see me. And a little while later, I'll be back. Yeah, I'm going to rise from the dead. It's like that song. Who's that, brother? Dallas Home? Go ahead. Drive the nails in my hands. What is it? Laugh at me. We stand. We stand. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. 
and I rise again. I rise again. All right. So that's verse 16. Mm -hmm. Right. So my version. New Merge and Standard Bible. John 16, 16. A little while and you no longer are going to see me. And again, a little while. And you will see me. In other words, you're going to see him rise again from the dead. Okay. Verse 17. Amplify Bible. Make it Bible. Some of his disciples said to one another, what does he mean when he tells us a little while and you will not see me and again a little while and you will see me and because I am and because I am going to my father. So they were saying, what does he mean when he says a little while? Now, I love this this part of this, the, 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 the story because it lets us know they didn't have a clue. <laughs> I love it. Jesus wasn't Jesus wasn't dealing with a brain trust. See, some of us think, well, we can't I can't do the will of God because I'm not smart. These are the people he chose. <laughs> Gives us all hope. Gives us hope, don't it? Yeah, okay? yeah, they, yeah, yeah. If he used these guys, he can use us. Can use because you. it's not me that makes me capable. It's him. it's him. Remember, we're in the vine. He's producing his life through us. We're not producing his life through us. He's producing his life through us. Because yeah. the branches don't do anything but hold what's going through, through it. So the branches are in the true vine. It's like we said before. If you will show loyalty, fidelity, communion and fellowship with King Jesus, there is no way you won't be producing fruit. One step. One step. Get in the true vine. Mm -hmm. And the result is going to be evidence of your relationship mm -hmm. with him. Yeah. Evidence of faith. Yeah.